Well, how was your night's rest? Not so great? Well, in today's senior segment, we are talking about sleep apnea, and Dr. Juan Iribarren joins us with some tips on getting a good night's sleep, and I know that's something that plagues so many people. Yeah. And thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, thank you. Excited Absolutely. to be excited to be here. So, um, yeah, I wanted to talk you know, a little bit about sleep uh, apnea. You know, it's, it's probably one of the most uh, common diseases that we see uh, mm -hmm. going underdiagnosed and undertreated. Um, and unfortunately, it's, um, it's a very common scenario that we see in our patients. So, for example, if uh, somebody, somebody, you know, talking about symptoms, uh, if somebody is just tired during the day, um, a little bit more sleepy than normal, if they uh, don't have energy, if they wake up in the morning like they didn't have a good night's sleep, mm -hmm. all right, if they easily doze off just reading or watching TV, those are symptoms that should trigger, you know, um, uh, you know some investigations, okay. especially if uh, the family member tell them that oh, you, kn you snore very loudly mm -hmm. or you actually, even worse, you stop breathing at night. Oh. Uh, so those, uh, what essentially happen is, um, what sleep apnea is, is just lack of breathing mm -hmm. during sleep or uh, at least uh, uh, not as good breathing as sleep as it should be. Mm -hmm. So what happens is your oxygen level, the oxygen level drops, so you don't get enough oxygen to your lungs, to your heart. And when we're all resting at night, you know, part of the resting process is just oxygen going to the brain and just brain resting. So if you don't get enough oxygen to your brain, with time, you start seeing these problems, okay? Uh -huh. uh, all these symptoms that happens. And the good news is it's something that we can uh, treat it we can diagnose it, treat it, and patients feel just fantastic, okay. like they didn't do in 20 years sometimes. Yeah. And I understand you guys are actually opening up a facility. Kind of talk to us a little bit about that. Yes, we are actually very proud and excited to announce the launching of a Lung Center, uh, Institute for Excellence in the Asthma, Allergy, and uh, Lung Diseases, which com comprises also um, sleep-related uh, breathing disorders. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to be in July, uh, in J January the 1st, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to have state-of-the-art facility, um, bring all so. these equipments, uh, technology uh, um, that will allow you know, us to you know, provide excellent care for the community. And you said that with sleep apnea, it's a situation where, you know, um, it's kind of, you're not sure whether or not you have it. What's the process once yeah. I get, get so to that point? So if you have the suspicion that you may have it because of the symptoms that mm -hmm. I just mentioned, yes. uh, you just, uh, you know, uh, have to let your doctor know. And we, we have uh, our facility, so it's very simple. Uh, we actually have, and this is the um, uh, state-of-the-art technology, mm -hmm. we actually have equipment and, and the kit that you actually take home with you and have the study done at home. Okay. So you just come to, to the office, we see you, we make sure it's appropriate, we put the order, you get the equipment, go home with the equipment, sleep, next day you bring it, we analyze the data, and if you have it, you start a treatment right away. All right, thank you so much. I guess okay. you answered my question. I was trying to see if it was non-invasive, and it sounds like yeah, it, it, it something is that not. you can just do at home. Oh, yeah, you um, do at home. All right, well, thank you so much. Great for that information. I know people are going to be wanting to get that okay. information.